To adjust the height, loosen the bolt and raise the wheel to the height you can work best with. The tension is adjusted by squeezing the knob to loosen it or pulling the cords to tighten the tension. The warping wheel allows for different warp lengths. Dowel blocks set to the outer position produces a three yard length per revolution. Dowel blocks set to the inner position produces a two yard length per revolution. Here Matt is pointing to the inner positions on the warping wheel. Set the counter to zero. Place the rattle on the mount and secure it with the fast pin. Slide the yarn under the cord catch and bring the yarn over the top of the cord catch and through the guide pins. Turn the wheel while guiding threads between the pins. After each warp length, bring your thread through the rattle and across to the cord catch. Then guide it through the guide pins and begin winding on your warp. Let's review it again. Bring your thread through a dent of the rattle, across to the cord catch, and then through the guide pins. At the end of your warp, bring the thread through a dent of the rattle and secure it under the cord catch. Take the rattle top and secure it on top of the rattle. Then take your scissors and cut the thread as close to the catch bar as you can. Let's review it again. Bring the thread through a dent of the rattle and across to the cord catch. Break the thread. And now with the rattle top, you want to secure it on top of the rattle. With your scissors, cut the threads as close to the catch bar as possible. Hold on to the warp ends and free them from the crossing warp so that you can tie the ends into a knot. Release the fast pin from the rattle mount and carry the rattle to the rattle mount on the support arm. Resecure it with the fast pin. Let's review the steps from a long view. Here Matt is adjusting the height. He's a tall person, so he adjusts the warping wheel to its full height. He then adjusts the tension. Remember you squeeze the black knob to loosen the tension or pull the cords to tighten the tension. Matt then sets the counter to zero. Make sure that the revolution pin is to the left of the counter when you begin. Here Matt removes the top of the rattle and he hangs it from the open eye screw on the support arm. He then moves the rattle to the mount on the stationary rattle cord catch assembly. Matt now secures the thread under the cord catch and feeds the thread through the guide pins and begins winding on a warp. After three revolutions, he feeds the yarn through the rattle underneath the cord catch and back through the pins. Matt will be winding on a nine yard warp. This is Matt's last warp length. 
He then takes the thread through a dent of the rattle and secures it under the cord catch and breaks the thread. He then takes the rattle top and secures it on top of the rattle. With his scissors, he cuts the warp threads as close to the catch bar as possible. Hold the warp ends, free the threads from the crossing warp and tie it into a knot. An alternative to this is to move the rattle to the mount on the support arm, then extend the length of the warp available and tie it into a knot. Now that Matt has completed his knot, he releases the rattle and carries it to the mount on the support arm and refastens it with the fast pin. Now you're ready to attach the warp to the loom. For extra security, Matt rubber bands the rattle top to the rattle. Adjust the angle of the rattle holder to match the width of the section. Then adjust the tension of the wheel by pressing in on the knob to loosen it or pulling the cord to tighten it. It is important to set the tension once for all the warp sections and then leave it. This is so that the tension is the same for each section. Then take the extension cord from the loom, create a lark's head loop, and loop it around the knotted end of the warp. Once it is secure, begin winding the warp onto the loom. While Matt continues to wind on the warp, he holds the rattle top down to keep it secure. Tear off a section of masking tape and set it aside on the rattle support arm. Place the tape underneath the warp and then bring it around on top. With the ends of the tape, create a small loop, which you then secure to the top of the tape. Release the warp from the cord catch and slide it on through the rattle, and then finish winding the warp onto the loom. Secure the tape to the wound on warp.